love you, yeah. Hate you, then they love you, then they hate you, yeah. Lord. Hmm. Hello, my name is El Rico Ramon. And I am not a sufferer. <laughs> well, people always say, my name is and I suffer with. And some people do. I'm not, I'm not knocking that. I'm not, I'm not knocking that at all. But I don't suffer with depersonalization. Um, I do um, have uh, some of the symptoms of what they define as depersonalization, but I don't like to put labels on, any, on anything. Um, I decided I'd do a video or two a week, you know, just to kind of give you an account of, of where I'm at, because I went through a lot. And um, uh, some people would, would say that I should not be here today. A lot of people would say that. Last year is when it started. Um, it was when panic attacks started. I had a two in particular that put me in the emergency room. And then I went to the emergency room for a third time for a presumed heart attack. I think I had about eight or nine test, EKG tests done. Um, um, I've dealt with depression. Uh, yes, I have been to that dark hole, that dark tunnel. Um, it lasted for about a good four months. Uh, I dealt with the disillusionment symptoms, right, which rise along the lines of derealization and depersonal, depersonalization. Had thoughts of suicide, not committing suicide. I just had um, some intense thoughts of it, you know. Um, at that point, my thoughts and my imagination was running and blending in with my reality and you probably know what I mean by that already. I won't go too much into it. I had a lot of a lot of interesting thoughts. <laughs> but if you're watching this, you probably have gone through the same thing or are going through the same thing. And um, I wouldn't want to add to what you're going through because it was hard for me to, you know, watch and hear and read certain things also. Um, had extreme breathing problems all the way from asthma to hyperventilation. At one point, I, I didn't even know how to breathe. Like, I didn't know what was right. Um, I would wish that upon my my most hated enemy, <laughs> which I don't hate anybody, but you know what I mean, you know? So, with that being said, here we are a year and some change later. So, who am I today? Oh, but I don't deal with derealization anymore, where your, your reality is fake. Um, my reality reality doesn't necessarily look like a movie anymore, so I guess you grow out of that. Um, I haven't had a panic attack since March. I haven't had depression since April or May. You know, that uncontrollable, heavy, sad feeling that you cannot turn off. I haven't had that. But the depersonalization, that, um, those symptoms still hang in there. But this um it sucks every once in a while, you know. Can't control it. It just pops in and pops out, pops in and pops out. I've come across videos and people say they've gotten rid of it. From what I've gathered, you know, with basically any condition regarding mental, um, everybody's different. And there's different levels, you know, there's depression, there's probably a mid range level to depression, there's clinical major depression, there's you know, um, a lot of other things, like I said, I won't name all these conditions because I don't want you to start going crazy. But there's a lot of different levels and every individual deals with these circumstances differently in their own way. For me, at the fork in the road, instead of going left and making everything dark, because a lot of people do, a lot of people think they're dying and et cetera, et cetera, I went right. I went towards the spirituality side of it, the light side of it, and that's where I'm at. And that's probably why I'm not depressed because... Um, I made a positive out of it. I, I never had, I, well, I'm saying never, but at some point I, I stopped having pity on myself. With that being said, what does my day look like today? Um, for example, I went out to walk my dog this morning on a long walk. You know, I felt definitely um, fragmented, meaning that your body, your mind, you're basically kind of all over the place, you know. It's like your eyes are floating in your head, stuff like that. Sorry if I'm scaring you. If you're watching this, you probably already know anyways. It's nothing new. Um, you just got to learn to be be still sometimes. Be quiet. Don't let it get to you. Um, touch your leg. Excuse me. 
Touch your face. Look at your hands. Talk to yourself. Be audible about it all, you know? Talk to somebody else. Just, you know, ground yourself, you know? I walk past the uh, plants, flowers, and trees. I love that. It makes me feel, um, like, full. It fills me up. Um... I drove to the grocery store, I drove to another grocery store to pick up something else, walked around the uh, bottom floor of the mall, still felt detached sometimes, but you know, once I get focused and engaged on something, I kind of, something will draw me in and I'll, and I'll get comfortable. Came back home, you know, still felt a little detached, but you know, once I get around my dog, <clears throat> I start getting engaged in something like videos or something or doing something with regarding music, something artistic that I can express myself and it usually fades away. But you and I both know that as soon as this video is over with, I'll be back to <laughs> in La La Land. <laughs> Needless to say, I say don't be afraid of it. Are you saved? Do you know God? He exists. You gotta pray. You gotta eat well. You gotta exercise. You gotta get that fresh air. You can't let this cripple you. I do what I want to do when I want to do it. It's not comfortable all the time, but I do it. And I get it done. And every time I do it, it makes me stronger so I can go out and do it again or do something different. You got to keep moving forward. Stop sitting there and um, stop ruminating in your mind and going backwards. That's how you get lost, all right? So with that being said, that's where I'm at today. Sometimes I feel defrag I mean, I feel fragmented. I feel invisible like you. I feel like a spirit. I'm okay with that. We all are. Trust me. We all are. <laughs> um, I feel detached, but um, it goes away. You'll be okay. I will too, all right? So let's connect again, maybe in a few days, all right? Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my video if you want to get immediate posts when I post them. Also, there's other videos to check out that deal with exercise and grounding. I'll, I'll post one soon about parents and teachers and friends on how they need to deal with us because they don't understand. They need to learn. They need to learn bad. <laughs> and uh, we'll connect again, okay? Talk to you soon. You take care. Have a good evening. Have a good week. Bye.